Well, that was awesome. I just went downstairs to make a coffee, which I have right here. Took the old K-cup out, put the new K-cup in, made sure the water was topped off, pressed the button, go to throw the old K-cup in the garbage. No bag in the garbage can. I knew for a fact I put a bag in last night, you know, after I pulled the garbage out, put it in the trash bag, and put it at the side of the road. I know I put a new bag in. There's no bag in it. Friggin' scampers got the bag. Took it out of the garbage can. Made a nest underneath the kitchen table. Told you guys my cat was fucked. Man, the weather here is going to be frigged. Right now it's minus 23 out. Okay, it's going to be minus 24 tomorrow. Then minus 18 on Sunday. Then minus 7 on Monday. Minus 1 on Tuesday. Minus 9 and then minus... Like, what is the frigging going on? Well, anyway, guys, today what I want to do is I want to get the... Um the TV, the Sony over there, off the uh, desk. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hook up the old Samsung SyncMaster monitor. So I can have two monitors on that computer again. I really want to start streaming some Euro Truck Simulator and some uh, American Truck Simulator. reason why I haven't been streaming that lately is mainly due to not having two screens over there. And it's hard to look at comments on the, this TV and drive at the same time because of the way it places the comments on the right side of the screen you really got to look over to see shit and it was just a pain in the arse so with having that secondary monitor it's going to make life a lot easier for streaming for some reason it just wouldn't work out for me which is why i ordered the old dvi cables so that'll basically resolve that problem and my plan for that 20 inch tv i'm going to put it in the bedroom so that uh when i'm sleeping at night if i want to watch a movie you just put a movie on while I pass out. I'll have a TV to watch it on instead of a little 13-inch screen on a laptop. So that'll be friggin' awesome. Hells yeah. Also, today we got uh, Flyer Day. It's already filmed. A um, lot of cool deals. be showing you that later on. Probably going to go do some groceries too because I'm running out of fixings. I got a lot of meat, but I got no uh, side dishes, if you will. So and I'm getting kind of sick and tired of french fries, to be honest with you. So that's going to be the plan for today. Might get up to some of this shit. I don't know. We'll see what we do and go from there. So, frig yeah. And yes, people, I do have you on a selfie stick right now. Pretty awesome, right? I can hold you way out here. Now you can see my big man tits. Alrighty, well, I already took the TV off. Remember, you, I don't know if you guys remember the video where I did this custom stand for it. But that was a thing that happened. Uh, garbage picked this stand for... I don't know what TV took the uh, pieces of metal iron angle shelving shit that I had in the garage I bought this here it was a uh, on discount over at the source of one of those TV hangers for your wall <coughs> and mounted everything to this stand using some ingenuity nuts and bolts yep and there you have it custom homemade TV stand for the Sony because the Sony never came with one because the guy I bought it off it wasn't exactly legit I don't think but whatever I got a freaking TV for 20 bucks and it's been working great so I'm gonna drag this into the other room get the cables over there we'll hook that up to the uh, the laptop I do have a remote control for the TV right here so that'll be great in the other room for volume up and volume down because Right now, every time I gotta change the volume, I gotta like lean over and shit, and it sucks. So now I'll be able to do it right on the TV. That'd be awesome. So, gonna get this all moved over there, and then uh, gonna set up the new monitor here. Or by new monitor, I mean the same old monitor I've had, just it's currently hiding behind the green screen. I already got my cables. Let's go hook this bitch up. I also forgot that this laptop doesn't have a working battery on it, so I unplugged it to move the power line. That was stupid, but uh, I'm going to put the TV here so when I'm laying in bed I can see it. You know, that's a good idea. And hopefully it's not too contrast depending on the angle I'm on and it looks alright. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get this all put back together. Probably should have dusted it off a bit, but zero fucks given, but it's working. I don't know how bad it's going to be when I'm laying down, but it's working. I just got to get the uh, connector that goes from the headphone jack to the back of the TV and gives me the ability to uh, friggin' do shit. Because right now all my sounds are still coming out of the laptop. 
I also got to set this to the primary display and turn off this display so I can get proper video because you see it's trying to do 16 by 9 and it's failing epically and like there's screen real estate down here not being used and up top and it's not centering properly so that'll be fun and there we go now I just need to get a mouse up here or just grab a mouse from the other room and plug it in fucking bonus control everything from my bed it'd be nice oh and I need to grab that wire to hook it up the um, the mic in I think this here has what for audio in uh, looks like it has a headphone jack just underneath the VGA port which you can't see um, right there that black thing yeah what I liked about this TV was this headphone jack out but I was able to build my own for the 32 inch and it seems to work just using two Fono connectors or whatever RCA connectors I guess I don't know what the hell you would call those the female version or the male version and a 35 millimeter headphone jack and it works no noise just using speaker wire for it and it seems to do the job so noise noise now if I only had that wire I have the wire I don't know where it was last time I used it was in the car chances are it's still in the car so yeah I'll have to go, when I go out to the car to do groceries later on tonight we'll have to see if it's still there and bring that back in the house you guys remember when I was doing that stupid engine thing trying to get it to go through an FM tuner and then through the speaker and all that well, that's the wire I'm talking about. I need that wire so I can hook it up to the computer. That was the original plan. So I was planning on doing this for a while now, but I never got around to it because I just never had the monitor or the, the wire. Uh, when I had the 550 in there, it worked fine because the 550, both ports are DVD or DVI or whatever. Yeah, DVI dash I, not digital. They accepted the analog uh, crossover thing, but new ones don't, so it is what it is, right? Sometimes you gotta make do with what you got. At least I, could, I got the cables dirt cheap off of that site, so fucking bonus. One, two, three, and cartridges, that cam. Alrighty, we're done. Nice. Like I said, after when I go for groceries, I'll grab that cable out of the car and then we'll be good to go there, but uh, the fact that this is done is freaking awesome. Because uh, Adrian was asking me about Euro Truck and or American Truck Simulator, because the multiplayer mod is out, and wanted to know if I was going to play it anytime soon, and I told him for sure because I wanted to play it on ETS Euro Truck Simulator, never got around to it, so we'll play it on American Truck Simulator. It'll be friggin' awesome. Now that I got both monitors hooked up, that means I can stream it, read comments on one monitor while playing on the other one. I'll be fucking mad. Well, people, I guess the only thing left to do now, well, we still got to do groceries, but one thing I want to do is, um, well, let's just say it's time for... Flyer Day, Flyer Day, gotta look at sales on Flyer Day, see what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, gotta look at sales on Flyer Day, see what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales, so much sales. Love the sales. All right, people, let's start off with staples and see what kind of shit they got. They want to make more happen. Interesting tablet. Oh, sweet mother of God! Microsoft has a smartwatch. I think. You know, they sell these same exact cameras over at Gearbest for a lot cheaper. Piece of shit. You know, if they didn't write down that was a Bluetooth speaker, I totally would have thought it was like a keep your coffee hot mug. I was never one to care for these all-in-one PCs. I kind of need one of these wireless extenders. You know, to extend my wireless network. Seems my phone's back up in price. Mmm, coffee. Alright, let's move on to Walmart and see what kind of shit they got. Ooh, a dozen roses, 12 bucks. That's kind of cheap, isn't it? I frickin' love blueberries. Cucumber! Watermelon! Palm. They didn't say it was pomegranate juice. You'd think it was made from real Pomeranians. I think I need more of this in my life. I definitely need more of this in my life. When Schneiders tells Lunchables to go frig themselves. That's my puppy's name. 
No shit, I thought it was purple. And that's where they get the meat for the Tim Hortons sandwich. Mother frickin' Alpo. Look at the fucking eyeballs on that thing. Alrighty, let's move on to food basics. Oh, they got that fish on sale still. That's pretty crazy. You know, this deal has been going on since after Christmas. Ooh, shut eye. Oh, frig yeah, I need eggs. That's a good deal, probably. These frickin' guys are selling Pomeranian beverages, too. Ugh, dog food sandwich. I wonder if I should get one of these. I know I need to get some of those. Damn, I used to drink the shit out of that when I was a kid. Probably some of the best shit I ever used when I have a cold. Oh, real dairy. So much better than that fake dairy. Alrighty, moving on to Freshco. Over a thousand items, but this flyer ain't that thick, so they're probably not all in here. Those Restaurante pizzas are actually pretty freaking good. God, I love buying my meat in a tube. What are those? What are those? That looks glorious. Really wish these bitches had chicken chips. Lol. Vitamin water. Lol. <laughs> VH steamers. I wonder if they're from Cleveland. Never actually had a yam before. Kinda wanna go get chicken wings now. And as always, Canadian Tire is our final flyer. Let's do this. Jesus Murphy, it's a freaking Roomba, I think. If you're lost and you know it, get a GPS. It's a five point racing harvest for your baby! Oh, uh, sicky. I might be the only one in the world, but I really hate sitting in bar stools. Jesus Murphy, that's a pretty good deal for an LED uh, work light. 50 bucks. They have them at Home Repo for 100. Oh, mommy, daddy, better go at the Canadian Tire and buy a shitload of Gatorade. I know how much Danny likes to drink the Gatorade. That's what I was planning on buying for the garage, the integrated LED strips. Problem is, is when the LED blows, you gotta throw the whole fixture in the garbage. It's the glue gun kit for metal. Holy shit, that is heavy duty. Look, it's made with black and yellow. That's how you know it's strong. Yeah, the sales weren't that good this time around, I know. I don't know what the hell's going on. I even checked Reby on my phone, and there's a lot of flyers missing, so... I don't really know what the frig's going on, what to think of it. It is what it is, but whatever. Alrighty guys, well it's like friggin' 8 o'clock. Oh, I just farted. And uh, it was a silent but violent old toothless wonder spoke again. Um, I'm gonna, I just fired up the car. And I'm gonna take a rip over to uh, the grocery store. And get my groceries done, because tomorrow, it's cold out today, but tomorrow it's going to be colder than a witch's tit in a brass bra. <laughs> so, uh, I figure, frig it, we'll get groceries done today. And that way there, we don't have to go out tomorrow. Because I really don't want to go out when it's super cold. Because, you know, fuck that. And then, uh, Saturday, like I said, we're going to go see about that audition. That audition. Somebody in the comments, can't remember who it was, said, uh, watch it be a porn film. I'll still fucking audition. Porn film, whatever it may be. It's not a porn film, though. It's based off of these books called The uh, Flower Shop. Ah, shit, I already forgot the name of it. Flower Shop Mysteries. Yeah, some books that uh, I didn't, I never read them, never looked into them. I don't care, it's a movie, and I'd, I'd like to say in my life that I've auditioned for a movie, even if I don't get a part, because not many people can say they've auditioned for a movie. Anywho, I'm going to head out to the car right now, I'm not going to bother filming the drive, I'm just going to go get my groceries, and then we're going to come back. Uh, the boys want to play Project Cars tonight, so we're probably going to play some of that, or Grand Theft Auto, I'm not sure. Uh, GTA has the Valentine's Day package out, so we might play some of that, I don't know, we'll see what we get into. Anyway, i got to go. We're gonna asshole in the truck up here runs a stop sign back there and I nearly plow into him. <sighs> I guess I'll have to follow him home and beat up his dad. Alrighty, we're at our favorite little grocery store ever, so I'm gonna go inside and uh, get some groceries and uh, probably not some beer. Alrighty, guys, I'm back and uh, I bought some of these things, these Santa Fe friggin' flavored pork. Things that are probably expired and hence why they're covered in flavor and probably gonna give me the shits. Got a pack of sausages for tonight, gonna have uh, bangers and mash for dinner. Gonna air fry those up while I make the mashed potatoes. Bought some blueberry tea because this stuff's actually really delicious and I plan on making e-juice out of it. Milk because I remember the old commercial where it says does the body good. No name mac and cheese because it was on sale. Five for four dollars. A whole fuckload of rice. No, it's not jasmine rice. Keep your tits in a pile. They had these on sale. Thin and crispy friggin' delicious Hawaiian pizzas. 
They were on for three bucks a pop, so I figured, frig it, we'll grab those. And I kept saying I wanted eggs for breakfast, so I bought eggs. Not oiling, treating, or preheating, or anything. Just taking the frickin' bangers, tossing them in for 13 minutes. See what happens. Potatoes are done. Sausages still got, what, five minutes left? They're not even looking anywhere near done. More power to the shields. Give her 200. Fuck it. So just be warned, when you're cooking sausages in the air fryer, it may get a little hazy. It may get a little hazy. Alright, let's take a look at these bangers. Man, oh man, those look fucking good. Bangers in an air fryer. Yep, those turned out amazing. Okay, I'm gonna have to take these out, put them on a plate, and get some potatoes on there, and I'll show you the final product. There we go, bangers and mash. So I'm gonna go drive this in my face and probably call her a night for the vlog. Nothing else going on. We're gonna play some video games there in a bit. After I eat, I'm gonna jump in some project cars with the boys or Grand Theft Auto. We haven't decided yet. Yes, it is smoky in here. What do you expect? They're just air fried sausages. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down, boys, and call her a night. So. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and favorite. And don't forget to check the links in the description below. We got Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram down there. Yeah, yeah. What the hell is my hand doing? Anyway, people, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna I'll talk to you tomorrow. I didn't know where to go with that. So uh, until tomorrow, people, keep on blogging.